Confissão, tudo bom? Confissão, nice, hell yeah, hell yeah. I heard some people from Chicago here, anybody from Chicago? Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. What part, what part of Chicago? Like the south side? This is a white woman, so that's uh, gentrification. Hell yeah, yeah, nice. What, what, what part are we from over here? West side, more gentrification. All right, nice, hell yeah. I'm, I'm from Chicago, that's why I asked, you know. Uh, I used to rob houses too, that's, that's mainly why I asked. <laughs> you guys ever do that? You guys ever rob a house? No, just me? All right, cool. <laughs> I used to think that was a normal thing people did. I thought you did that in high school. I thought everybody did it in high school. I thought you went to prom, hit puberty, robbed a couple houses, you know? <laughs> then I went to college and I was like, you guys ever rob a house? And they were like, what? And I was like, let's just play beer pong, man. Why are we asking? <laughs> Why are we talking about high school? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> we weren't good at robbing houses though. We would rob like nice white people's houses. So we would just end up learning stuff about houses that we didn't know, you know? <laughs> like we break into the house and we'd be like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Forget to rob it. We would just leave and be like, wow, that was a nice open concept kitchen. You know, like, that was pretty dope. Never seen a backsplash before. <laughs> yeah, I learned a lot about houses, man. I didn't know you could have a finished basement. I didn't know that was a thing. I <laughs> I thought all basements came unfinished, and that's where you kept meats and dogs. I didn't know <laughs> white people were keeping their horny teenage sons down there. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Just throwing hot pockets at Trevor down the stairs, yeah? <laughs> yeah, man, it was fun. It was a fun thing. Our, our favorite thing to do, our favorite place to go in these nice white homes was the kitchen. We love stealing stuff from the kitchen, looking at the kitchen. Not stealing any food, because white people, y'all know how y'all cook, but we... <laughs> We loved looking at the outside of the refrigerator, the, the postcards that y'all have from other white families. You know, we thought that was dope. We thought it was so cool. Just a, a, another white family on a postcard. We were like, what, is the, what are they trying to communicate to each other? Yeah? <laughs> Just a white family like, oh, Merry Christmas. Hope your family's still white. Ours is, you know, like it was, it was nuts. <laughs> We wanted to participate. We wanted to take a picture of ourselves, put it on the fridge, you know? <laughs> be like, Merry Christmas from the robbers. We have all your shit. We thought it, was, we thought it was cute, man. We thought it was a fun time. But it is very psychological when you rob houses. You know why you're doing it, why you're doing it. I didn't grow up with a lot of stuff, so I was stealing from people who had a lot of things, you know? And my friend, he came to this conclusion while we were robbing a house. He was like, you know, I'm done robbing houses. I don't want to do this shit anymore. And I was like, that's cool, but you are actively robbing a house right now. <laughs> I was like, I need you to find some energy, and then we can talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, no, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I don't want to rob houses anymore. I'm, I'm tired of taking their stuff. I don't want the stuff they have. I want their lifestyle. I want, this, I want this fucking tire swing outside. I want the picket fence. I want a Labrador retriever. I turned around, he had a Labrador retriever in his hands. You know? He was like, look at this motherfucker. He's cute as shit. He hasn't barked the whole time. You know? And I was like, that's cool, but what, what are we going to do? But I know, what you, I know what you mean, but like, what are you going to do? He's like, I think, I think I'm going to stay. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> He was like, I think I'm gonna stay. I think I'm gonna talk to these nice white people in the, the adopting a black son. You know they love that shit, you know? <laughs> and and he, did, he was like serious. And I was like, you're losing your mind. I'm about to keep robbing this house. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, you know? And then he was like, stop robbing my fucking house. And I was like, what is, what is happening right now? <laughs> Yeah, he, st he wanted to stay, and then this, this white family started to come home. We heard the door handle start to jiggle a little bit. I got nervous, I was like, what are you gonna do? He's like, I'm gonna stay, you know? <laughs> and I jumped out the window. I have not seen this motherfucker since. I think he made it. I think he lives with this nice white family. I think they have nice white dinners every night, <laughs> and they look at him, they remind him. They're like, remember when you tried to steal from us? <laughs> but you ended up stealing our hearts, you know? <laughs> I think yeah, I think he made it. I don't rob houses anymore. I'm in New York, you know? I love New York. You guys like New York? Yeah, New York's a weird place, man. It'll, it'll have you, I don't know. I just have all the weirdest interactions in New York every time I have an interaction. Like, I bumped into this dude earlier this week. I wasn't watching where I was going. I was texting on my phone, right? Bumped into him, and he was like, yo, watch where you're going, bitch. And I was like, whoa, whoa we jumped the bitch real quick, you know? <laughs> and, but the only thing I could actually say, I was like, I'm not a bitch. And I was just like, ah, that's something the bitch would say, you know? <laughs> I was like, that is bitch vernacular right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then I tried to regroup and I was like, oh, you need to watch your mouth. And then I was like, ah, I don't like that one either, but we gonna stand on it, you know? And, and then he was like, I need to watch my mouth. And I was like, yeah. He was like, that's why I'm fucking your girlfriend. And I was just like, what? You know, I, I got so sad. I was like, why would you say that? You know? <laughs> but I had like such a long day. I was so exhausted. I didn't want to go back and forth with this dude, do this dumb macho shit. So I was just like, good. <laughs> and then he was like, what? I was like, good, I'm glad you're fucking her. She works hard, she deserves to be fucked. <laughs> And then he was like, what, what, what's going on? And I was like, I hope you're fucking the world. Hope you're making her come, you know? And then he was like, please stop. Whatever's happening, please stop. <laughs> he started to walk away. I was like, no, come fuck my girlfriend in front of me like a man. Yeah, yeah New York's a weird place, dude. It'll have you <laughs> yelling out for dudes to fuck your girl in front of you. <laughs> I just had brunch after that. That was a normal day for me. I went and got some avocado toast, you know? It was, 
I don't know. I just weird interactions happen all the time. This is homeless man I ran into like two years ago. I think about this motherfucker like every day, dude. He was asking for a dollar. He was like, I need a dollar for food. I need a dollar for food. I gave him a dollar. He ate the dollar. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, that that's that's my fault. That's on me. You you said exactly what you meant. I wasn't listening. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this might be the smartest dude in the fucking world. <laughs> he was like, some people pay for food. I cut out the middleman. You're like, oh, okay. entrepreneur right here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to be a good person. I, I feel like I'm trying to be. You guys trying to be good people? Yeah, yeah. Trying to run and eat vegetables, go to sleep on time, make your partners come. You know, I'm trying to do all of that stuff. Yeah, trying to be a good guy. I don't know. It's hard. I'm trying to get my, my, like, my family into like conservation you know and like the environment and stuff because I started I went hiking I started going hiking I wasn't trying to go on purpose I was hanging out with two of my white friends one of my white friends he leaned in to ask me a question he was about to ask me a question and then he thought about it and he was like ah, no. Nah. and then he went and asked my white friend the other question he was like you trying to go hiking and I was like what the fuck just happened dog I was like why didn't you ask me he was like ah you know and I was like what I was like because I'm black he was like you said it you know <laughs> And I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I was like, I hike, I hike all the time. I'm a hiking motherfucker. Let's go hike right now. He's like, all right, cool. You know, we went hiking. It was, it was cool. I've never done it before, but it was fun. You know, <laughs> but I got suspicious. I was like, what are white people doing out there? They're just going out there and just saying the N-word in the woods. Is that what y'all are doing? <laughs> just some white dude on top of a rock pointing at another white dude like, did you say it yet? <laughs> Beautiful day for the N-word, you know? <laughs> Yeah, man, so I'm out there. I made a mistake, though. I told all my black friends I was going hiking. They didn't like that. They, uh, I was like, we got to go hiking. Let's go hiking. They was like, no, nah, I'm not trying to do that. I was like, why? And they were like, that's white people shit. And I was like, what? Just because white people do it, that means we can't do it? They were like, precisely, you know? <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I was like, give me a real reason why we don't go hiking. And he was like, because white people go out there, they get killed by bears, and now we know it's an unsafe thing to do. Let them die, you know? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, no. I was like, what if we go out there and we find out the bears just don't like white people? What if that's a thing, dude? <laughs> what if we get out there? There's a bunch of bears with do-rags on and the Air Force Ones, you know? <laughs> they playing spades <laughs> and they see us. And it was like, we can't wait to see y'all niggas. What took y'all so long, you know? <laughs> it was like, we've been killing white people for decades trying to show y'all we cool. What's happening, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta take chances, man. I don't know. I, I am, but I am trying to get more into nature and conservation and I'm starting to, I recycle now. You know, I never recycle. You guys recycle? Yeah, all the, all the white people going crazy for recycling. <laughs> I try not to make that a racial thing, but I always ask my black friends, I'm like, y'all recycle? They're always like, fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you don't gotta be enthusiastic about it. You could have just said no. <laughs> I'm like, y'all recycle? They're like, no, they start dancing. <laughs> I was like, oh, you had this choreographed, huh? Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I'm trying to get my dad in and like thinking about like the environment. Like he, I, we were talking about electric cars. I was like, yeah, you know, electric cars are good. They're good for the environment. You can drive an electric car. He was like, yeah, that's cool, but can't drive the motherfuckers in the rain. And I was like, what? And he was like, they're electric. He was like, you can't, you know what I mean? And I was like, you think, I was like, you think they made a car that, that you can't drive in the rain? He was like, I don't think, I know. And I was like, what? And then I'm so dumb. I was like, I mean, maybe I've never saw one in the rain, you know? It's crazy, man. I'm trying to get them to be better people, but it's very tough, you know? <laughs> yeah, I did start recycling. I started recycling because of weird reason. I started recycling because of Greta Thunberg. You guys know Greta? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it's always a weird reaction for Greta. I, if you don't know Greta, she's like a weird Nordic young woman who is like, you know, she perform she I don't know she has autism let's be real about it yeah yeah dude I don't know she she is interesting I didn't know who she was I saw one of her speeches and I didn't know who she was and I was like oh what's this little white girl doing on my screen you know why is she so angry if you've never seen her she just looks like she's always walking against wind you know what I mean like she she's like really dry you know it's just a very dry red face every time I see Greta I just want to put cocoa butter all over her I'm, I'm like we can save the environment but we can also save your skin you know like I I don't know what's going on. I know you live in Narnia and it's dry up there, but we got you. Yeah. But she was so angry. I was like, oh, she cares about the environment. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can put the papers with the papers and the plastics with the plastics. As long as just keep this dry white girl off my screen, you know, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, so I started recycling and, and I don't know. I, it's interesting. I'll do little steps. I'll go to the grocery store and they'll be like, yo, you need a plastic bag for your stuff? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I can carry my items out, you know? Then I carry my items out and I'm just like, oh, shit. I'm just a black man outside a grocery store with a bunch of loose items. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's just a cop out there like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just like, this is for Greta, this is for the environment. <laughs> just getting weirder and weirder as I grow older, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm a millennial though. You guys, anybody clap if you're a millennial? Hell yeah, hell yeah. How you feeling about the state of the world? We doing all right? 
Uh, yeah, anxious, no money. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, we have no money. Dude. Remember when we went to college? We thought that we were going to do our dream jobs. Remember that? We <laughs> looked our college counselor in the eye and we were like, I want to be an archaeologist. You know? <laughs> and then we graduated and we were like, oh shit, y'all found all the bones? I didn't know y'all found all the bones. <laughs> y'all found every bone? Okay, all right. <laughs> Guess I'll be a barista for the next 10 years, try to figure this shit out. You know? <laughs> We've been through a lot, man. We've seen a lot as millennials. We don't talk about our trauma. We've been through a lot of trauma, man. We, we had trauma, yeah. We didn't see a president get assassinated or anything like that or a world war, but our, our trauma was the internet. We had to get through the internet as kids. Remember that? Remember when the internet was raw, dude? Before Charlie bit his brother's finger and YouTube, oh, Charlie, and then we're like, oh, the internet's a cool place to be, you know? No, our internet was nasty, dude. It was a wild, wild west. Now, it's nice. Gen Z's internet, you can find what you're looking for on the internet, you know what I mean? You can, you can find ASMR videos, makeup tutorials. It's a great place to be, dude. It's a great place to be if you want it to be. Not when we were kids, no. When we got on the internet, we found two girls, one cup, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you remember. You remember. Don't try to act like you don't remember. I think about those two women every goddamn day of my life, bro. They gotta be dead. There's no way that they're alive. <laughs> you know? That was the nastiest video I ever seen in my life, man. And it was your nastiest friend who showed it to you, too. It was your friend from a broken home who smelled weird, you know? They just came in your house and it was like, yo, is your mom home? You wanna see something crazy? Ruined your fucking life forever, dog. <laughs> yeah, our internet was buck wild. It was buck wild and we had to get through it. You guys remember Chat Roulette? You remember that? Yeah, yeah, remember we were all like, oh, I guess I'll make some friends in Europe, that'll be cool. Make some friends across the pond and then Europe was like, yeah, let's be friends. Oh, oh, sacre bleu, you know? <laughs> then we all grew up like, everybody needs therapy. Everybody needs to go to therapy, no shit. Look at what we've seen, dude. We've been through a lot. <laughs> you guys have been a lot of fun. My name is Ethan, thank you so much. <laughs>